people are who are into cars, like me and you. We love cars in general. To get it run smoothly for a weekend drive, yeah, spend quite a bit on restoring the condition. Singer being the ultimate goal, we'll be focusing on 997s. So with this turbo cab, uh, because it's a cabrio, so we think it does look nice if it's white, especially from the back. Hi, I'm Ronald. This is my 2008 997 Turbo Cab. This one, I would say, since young. Because why, uh, back then, during my school days, uh, my dad used to be a used car dealer. Yeah, so that heavy involvement in cars. Uh, back then, my dad used to have a few Honda Civics. So people call them EGs, EF. So my exposure to, to cars, I mainly through my dad. Honda is the first car brand that came to my mind. So, and I believe uh, people are who are into cars, like me and you. We love cars in general. And then um, Honda has been in my, since when I was a kid. Of course, uh, because of the motorsport, the heavy involvement in motorsport, uh, being a brand from Japan. And then from Honda, this is where uh, I get to know, I mean, all the car brands that are heavily involved in motorsports. So Porsche being one of them. Uh, as for myself, my first car was a Proton Satra GTI. Uh, we call it National Hero back then. That's my first car after my, uh, the day when I got my uh, driving license. Uh, of course, I have a more common daily car. For me to be part of that motorsport scene, I think Satra GTI is a good car to get it started. Back then, I didn't do much because I, of course, financially doesn't allow me to uh, because back then I was still in my uni days. What I did mostly is to make it into good running condition <laughs> because back then the car was like 13 years old, I remember. To get it run smoothly for uh, weekend drives, I never brought it to the track. Yeah, spent quite a bit on restoring the condition. Uh, I had the car for almost three years before I have to say goodbye to it because Honda is the brand, it's the car brand that I want to, to, to chase for right now. So my first Honda, it was a Civic and it's a FD2 they call it, with the auto tranny. What sort of mods, typical wheels, brakes, tyres, Nothing much, but mainly on body kits. So back then, body kits is something that I you know, chase for. Because why? The body kits, we can really transform a car. A few of my friends, they sold off the ID2, they move on with FD2R. So I thought I can actually follow their path. So I did that. I met a very nice guy who is a doctor. So he did some nice mods on the car. I bought it over. It's a Honda Malaysia car. Uh, bought it over. Um, let go that previous FD2 and I had that FD2R for three years. One of the longest ownership, I would say. Yeah, so with the FD2R. After the FD2R, because of this business here, um, Kuzik, so I actually sold off my FD2R to convert it to cash to fund for my business, my very first um, side business. I think it was a wise move, but it's definitely a, a sad part in my car journey and my car ownership. Why 911, I would say, is because I mean, the brand itself, it's, it's like I mentioned, uh, you know, every car guys, you know, they, wanna, they, they want to link themselves to, to motorsport. So I believe Porsche being one of them, 911 especially, the sports car that are uh, like, you can see all these cars on the racetracks, you know, on the weekends drive. So for myself, who owns a Cayenne before this, and yes, to be able to own a 911 now, it's, it's that's something that I can really happy for. Yeah.
based on the budget, the budget friendly option would be a 996 for us to choose from in the used car market. But then again, uh, 996, uh, a lot of them were saying that the headlights, everyone is commenting on the headlights on the Fright 8 design. Uh, I'm totally fine with it, but I just wanted a car that is more uh, durable uh, with less, uh, of course, durable means you need a newer car, lesser maintenance, headaches. So I think 997 sort of settled all these problems from the previous generations. So that's why I went with 997 instead. This idea has been running through uh, the back of my mind for some time uh, because when we work on the cars, of course, you want to own it because if you see how fine the car was built, even the car is already like 10 over years old and the car still aged very well. Back then, the first car that we worked on for 997 is a 3RS. Yes, and we worked two units. This is one of them. So like we told ourselves like we need to get one 997 in our fleet, in our Kuzik taxi fleet. And yeah, so there we go with our turbo cap. We're very happy because uh, we can make this turbo cap our legit Kuzik taxi for now. And of course, we we are excited for the future builds that we're going to work on next year. To me, it's depending. Um, like myself, I want the car to be clean. I want the car to be to look to look good at the meet. But also, I want to drive the car hard. And I know uh, Porsche 911s, they are built for that. So they are built to look clean and nice when, you, when it was parked. And then, yeah, it was built for the track, for you to push it hard on the track. Yes. Uh, the reason for us getting this car is because it's a fully stock condition. Of course, we have our um, restore mod plans with it. And we're going to do it quite extreme. Why? Because um, it's a nice car to start from. It's a nice condition, stock, stock form, Porsche Malaysia car, um, well spec. So we want to present a, a whole new different experience. That's why we chose a cab. And I believe the driving experience with the mods that we're going to do it later on, it's definitely going to change the whole identity for the car, for the car enthusiasts especially. What we plan to work on the car is we're looking at a few ideas from the website. So, Singer being the ultimate goal. Singer is like a, a bespoke kind of restoration, uh, which our direction is towards there. We also want to include other resto mods as well, because like we have a plan. We'll be focusing on 997s. So, with this turbo cab, uh, because it's a cabrio, so we think it does look nice if it's white, especially from the back. Is why the rear tail light sits higher, so the whole car will be like muscular, especially from the back. So we can see white car squat, flush slam. I believe this will turn out to be great by next year. Our journey wouldn't stop at 997. You definitely want to move on, or maybe we, yeah, we look back at previous generations, 996, 993, 964. We will definitely, we won't stop at 997. I bought the car early this year. Why I bought the Cayenne is because last year I heavily involved in Toyota Land Cruises. So I always wanted a overland built Continentals, Contis, right? So I think Cayenne is a good car to start off. Of course, with Cayennes, they have Touaregs, they have you know, other models. And I chose Cayenne is because, first, it's because of the market value at the moment. It's at a very affordable range. And of course, the performance that the car, although the car is 10 over years old, but um, the overall driving experience, it's very nice compared to the cars that I owned previously. Why I chose to make it an off-road vehicle is because I just want the car to build like that, to admire the look of it. 
So what I did was, uh, of course, the first thing that I do is to change the wheels, to swap out the factory wheels, the 20, 21 inch wheels, and fitted 18 inch Flamon all terrain tyres. Uh, from the all terrain tyres, I had two sets of all terrains, and this is the third set, which is um, mud terrain. And also, I did uh, custom forge wheels, lifted the car with, thanks to Titan, I, I get a lifted shocks from Titan. I did some custom bull bars all over and I changed the steering, changed the seats, a pair of Recaro pole positions, a long list of mods which we, I'm going to put it in later on but uh, that's for now, that's the things that I did for the car. Can I quote what Ferry Porsche mentioned? He once said like uh, 911 it's a car that you can bring from African safari to Le Mans track and back to the theater in the streets of New York. That's what <laughs> Ferry Porsche said. I must agree to that statement is because I believe uh, not every car manufacturer can build a car that serve different purpose, different occasions, and I think 911 is one of them. I'm Ronald, that's my 9-11 story. <laughs>